Grace and peace from our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ be multiplied unto you all. We thank God for another episode of Moment of Truth. Today we are looking at Christianity as a monotheistic faith. Christianity as a monotheistic faith. The other day we spoke about the fact that Christianity has its roots in God. God revealing himself as man, coming in the person of Jesus Christ to save mankind. We again indicated that Christianity has its roots in Judaism because Jesus was born to Jewish parents, people who believed in the dispensation of the law. Today, let's look at how Judaism started and how monotheism also started. We may end somewhere and continue another time. Reading from Genesis, the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, Now the Lord called to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. Now people read the scripture and they preach on the seven blessings of Abraham through which we are blessed. But today I'm not speaking on the seven blessings through which Christians are blessed. I'm looking at the monotheistic faith. Now Judaism as I said started with the call of Abraham. God called Abraham. He called Abraham out of a family. He called Abraham out of a group. He called Abraham out of a society. Now, Judaism believes in one God. Judaism believes in God revealing himself and his law to Moses. So Moses is believed to be the greatest prophet. Judaism believes that the temple is the eccentricity of their faith. Judaism believes that David is their greatest king. So in Judaism, God is one God. The temple is the eccentricity of their worship. Moses is their greatest prophet. Abraham is their father, the father of the Jewish nation. Now, among the Jews, there are two books which the Jews use in addition to the law, that is the Torah. Now, you know, there is the Torah, that is the law. There is the element of the poetic books. There is the prophets, the major and the minor. But apart from the Bible itself, the Jews have two other books they use. These two books are called the Mishnah. And then there is the other book called the, the um, Talmud. The Talmud is believed to be a book of rabbinic commentary. Commentaries that were written by rabbis. People who have in-depth knowledge of the law. So that gives us the Talmud. The Mishnah is a study of repetitions. The Mishnah is said to have been a study of occurrences, history that has repeated itself and it's a collection of oral tradition that is giving us an interpretation to the law. Now, it is believed that in Genesis chapter 12, there is a story behind the call of Abraham. Even though we see Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4, God calling Abraham, the people of Israel believe that before God called Abraham, something significant happened. And that is the reason why he called him. The people believe that all the people of old were living amongst a heathen people, people who didn't believe in a God. But it's believed that Abraham's father, Pharaoh, he dealt and traded in minor gods. He dealt and traded in minor gods. They had a shop in which when people were traveling, they would come to Pharaoh and come and rent a god from Terah and they will use for their trip. So they will always come and rent a god and use for their trip. One day Terah was traveling and then Terah left Abraham in charge of this shop. When Terah traveled, and he came. He has seen that Abraham has scattered all the gods in the shop. Then he asked Abraham, Abraham, why is it that the gods have been scattered? Then Abraham said, Father, when you left, I was trying to give one of the gods food. 
and then the big god was annoying that i was giving one of the small gods food and he stretched his hand to take the food and they began to fight as they fight they fought and then they injured each other that is why you see the whole place scattered then Terah said, Abraham, you have been with me in this house for a long time. Have you seen this God ever fighting? Then Abraham asked the father, Father, if these gods cannot talk, why are you cheating the people? Why do you extort them? Why do you take money from them? And then give them a God who will carry them on a trip, believing that God will save them. So his father was trading in gods. Anytime somebody is traveling, he will come and rent a God. He will carry him to his destination and bring the God back. That is how he was making a living. But Abraham felt that his father was cheating the people and he decided to destroy the gods. It is believed according to the old rabbinic collection and then again the writings that when God was up and he saw this heart of Abraham, he called Abraham. This is believed to be the call of Abraham. God calling him out of the world unto himself. We'll continue later on and look at what is meant in detail by monotheism. One God, one people, one nation. Revealing himself in the person of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen.